Hey, I'm Sunny with Elan Transfers. I'm excited because Leanne is gonna hop on in just a minute and join me. Um, and we're gonna be talking about overglaze decals today. So as soon as I see her, I'm gonna get her in. But before that, I'm gonna talk about a couple housekeeping things. Um, we're having a giveaway right now on Instagram. Um, and it is a full, we joined with GR Pottery Forms, um, which, I brought some over <laughs> to show you because I love Jared Pottery Forms. Um, so to enter to win a $50 gift card to Elan Transfers and GR Pottery Forms, um, do a post on your Instagram sharing a finished piece using both Elan Transfers and GR Pottery Forms. Um, make sure you tag Elan and GR and use the hashtag holidays with pottery. Um, so share something that's like a holiday kind of piece or um something that you would share i brought over a couple of mine um because obviously i have a bunch and i see leanne is requesting to come on so let me get her and then we can talk about the giveaway hi hi Good How to you doing? You. Yeah, good to see you too. All right, I was just talking a little bit about the giveaway with GR Pottery Forms. It okay. runs until the 22nd of December, and yep. then we'll pick the winner on the 23rd. Um, so make sure that you go and find that post on Instagram, like it, comment, um, and then make a post of your own and tag Elon Transfers and GR Pottery Forms and use the hashtag holidays with pottery. And the winner gets a um, gift card to both both businesses. Yeah. Yes. 50 to each, which is really cool. I'm over here just doing some last minute cutting. Um, for literally one. what I am doing right now. Uh, I've been running around and just like, <laughs> I, I need to sit down and cut. <laughs> how long this part of the process takes. I'm like, Oh, I'll just cut out a few right last minute. And then I was like, Oh, shoot, this is not a last minute procedure. <laughs> Honestly, the cutting is the most time consuming. I mean, besides waiting for the kiln to, you know, but cutting all these out takes so but long I, if you want them. I have big news. I've been thinking of some other ways. Me and Christina, um, who's in charge of our social media, we've been um, kind of toying with some different things that we can offer people as um, ideas because a lot of times people don't have kilns um, for the overglazes. So we've come up with two things. So speaking of waiting for the firing, um, when, when we when we talk about it, I have two ideas for you that involve don't involve to have like a huge kiln to fire the decals on. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to hear about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so do you, what do you have anything else you wanted to talk about, or do you want me to? Do... I mean, I was just gonna kind of go through our regular stuff. Um, oh yeah. Our, on our website, alontransfers.com, there's a resources page that has written instructions as well as free videos to download about how to apply any of the decals and the transfers, um, which is really helpful. And also, generally, we have on like guest artists in this interview series, so you can also find all the in information about them on that page. Um, we have a Facebook group called Elan Transfers and Decals. It has thousands and thousands and thousands of members. You don't have to just talk about Elans. Any kind of work with um, transfers and decals, there is a great community of people there who want to chat about all this stuff. Um, so check that out. That group um, really um, has grown and is really, is really a great, like you said, a great resource. People are, even if you just want to post stuff you made and hear people's thoughts, um, people are really um, sweet and kind over there. So yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's all my regular spiel. <laughs> awesome. Um, so uh, sure. So I'm Leanna owner of Elan uh, Transfers and I'm going to show you guys um, our new our new decals today, which I'm really excited about. We do have peonies. Um, wait, real quick. I'm sorry. Um, Sunny, uh, are you keeping track of questions? Yes, I was just about to write one down. I saw one about firing in the same kiln. Um, let's also say before we go, sorry, I'm making this haphazard, but Sunny's usually in charge of the- oh, good. Oh, so girl, I'm all over the place today, so this is great that you're here, too. <laughs> it usually has, like, a, a format we go through, and I'm probably messing her all up. But no, um, it's okay. I'm, gonna, um, I'm so sorry. I'm going to grab a piece of paper. <laughs> sure. 
Um, if you guys have questions through the course of the video, please feel free to write them in the chat. We just say that maybe if you could put your first name and then like maybe the state or country where you're located, and that way we can kind of um, respond to you because sometimes we don't get them right away, but Sunny's going to be able to respond to all the comments. Yeah. Um, okay, so this one is called Peony Bunches, and I'm sorry if the colors aren't showing up as well, but this one is really, really beautiful. And we have a peonies transfer now, um, but not to say that one's not good, but I kind of like this one better. I love that. <laughs> it's really good. Um, so that's one. This one is one that is not new, but it's a good for Valentine's Day. It's called Tree of Hearts. Um, again, this one is not new, but it's lips, and I was pulling out everything that I thought would be good uh, for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's smart to be planning ahead right now. Exactly. This one is new, and it's called Page of Hearts, and it's actually what I've been cutting out. So I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm going to do with, with this one. Um, I really love it. It's such a good red. This one is uh, not new, but it's called uh, Heart Crystals, and that's a good Valentine's Day one. This one is adorable and I love it. I have two. Love. <clears throat> so this one is called Double Dutch and we've got two girls and two boys. And then on this one, we've got a boy and a girl. Um, so depending on who uh, this is getting gifted to, you can <laughs> choose which one you like the best. Love those. Um, let's see. This one is a new Valentine's Day one and it is called Love is All You Need. And it has, you make me happy <clears throat> with love. Um, you're my sunshine, which is my favorite one on this page. Um, you're my sweetie. Just some really cute little images that would be great for Valentine's Day. This one isn't um, necessarily pink or red, but it's, a, I think, a good one for Valentine's Day. It says, love you to the moon and back, which is nice because maybe you can use it for not just Valentine's Day. Yeah. Uh, this one is not new, but it is called love, and it has all different ways to say love. This one is really sweet. It's um, succulent hearts. So they're little heart shaped uh, succulents. And it's a real light color. So it looks really good on white. Um, it's not as intense as some of the other ones. This one is new um, for St. Patrick's Day. It is a uh, shamrocks and they're kind of a watercolor effect, which is really pretty. And then this is the one that we've had on the website um, since last year, which is shamrocks, but it's a darker color. And then here we're getting into some that would be really good for any time of year, but um, mm -hmm. I was thinking summer would be nice and maybe people are starting to think about that now for gifts. Um, also a lot of fruit. Uh, folks have been asking me about more fruit stuff. So watermelons, um, oranges, peaches, blueberries, which is my favorite one. <laughs> Love that. Uh, strawberries. And then now I'm doing some, this is not fruit, although there's little rotten apples on there. Um, I did a few uh, animals because I like animals. And this one is raccoons, owls, uh, moon phases, which is the moons from the love is all, or love you to the moon and back, but I just pushed those onto this page. So you could have just the moons. Pelicans. <clears throat> The pelicans and the cranes are the same color palette that the lighthouses, um, the sailboats, and the shells are. So if you wanted to kind of combine any of those, they would look really good because they're on the same color palette. Really cool. Um, somebody recently asked for this design, which is actually on the Magic Woman design. Right. They just wanted a sheet of just these, so I've made these available for everybody. I have a finished one of that somewhere near me, but oh. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, I see it. I'll go grab it. Hold on. Uh, tree frogs, the celestial cats, and then baby penguins. So not every single one of those is new. Um, oh, yeah, perfect. That's, so I have a whole sheet of just those if you want to. Love wanna... that. Love that. Um, and those are all um, up on the website as of now, and we are doing a coupon code if you want, um, we'll do 10%, uh, if you want to purchase today, 10% off through tonight on any of your orders. Perfect. Love it. I'm, just, I'm really excited about the fruits. I'm really excited about the blueberries and the peaches. <laughs> I know the blueberries are going to be really fun. I was thinking of like a, like a yogurt bowl. And then when you get to the bottom, there's like little blueberries down in there. It'll be fun. Love it. 
love it. Um, so what do you want to do? Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? It doesn't matter. I've are got a couple. I'm, yeah. Or yeah, just... I've got a little demo I can do. I'm kind of set up. I also have a couple um, finished ones. So one person asked about, um, hold on, I got another question. So I'll just do this one. Rue from Virginia um, wanted to know if these are food safe, which yes. they are. Food safe, washer safe, microwave safe, um, oven safe. The only thing is if you're using the, we do sell over glazes that are made from gold, which I don't, I didn't just show you, but we do have some. Um, those ones, yes, um, they are not microwave safe because they have metal in them. But um, all of the full color ones are totally safe for food, dishwasher, microwave, and oven. Mm -hmm. And then we had one question about, does the color stay vibrant after firing? So I grabbed a couple um, and they do. Mm -hmm. And I have one that I can show. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. And then the ones that are kind of like watercolor-y, they're just a little bit lighter, but you're, you can kind of see that color when they're on the paper. So for overglazes, uh, we don't print white. So for something like, like this, um, it it looks white because it's on white paper and because you're gonna put it on a white mug. But if you were to put this on a dark mug, you know, his belly wouldn't be white. Um, so you really would probably put this on stuff that's either glazed white or like Sunny has where it's a ivory creamish glaze, but it has speckles. Mm -hmm. and, and so that works great. But you'll see the speckles through it. Um, um, okay, so we got another question about so this is a question about underglaze transfers. Um, they're clear ran with the transfers with with the clear. Thick? Yeah. It might be too it, thick. Um, fired at the not a right temperature for the glaze and it melted too much and pulled the transfer with it. But usually if it's applied um, in like a normal sized coat, um, they shouldn't they shouldn't be running like that. Sometimes you can get a little bit of bleeding with the blue um, at super high temperatures, but I think in my experience, that's the only time I've ever had it run is if I had too thick of glaze. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my clear glaze that I use, which I'm, I, I think I'm blanking a little bit, but I think it's standard 1200 might be the clear glaze that I use and I do a dipping glaze and I haven't had any problems. Um, so yeah, you used three coats of clear, um, how many clear glaze coats do you recommend for an underglaze? Um, I guess it depends on <clears throat> the Test thickness and, and how, how, if you're dipping that. I mm -hmm. think, I'm not sure if it's next week or maybe the week after. It, soon, I'm going to do an, a, one of these lives and I'm going to have Stephen do it, my husband, who did all of our glazing um, when we were fully making pottery. And we're going to do a glaze demonstration and showing you how, because Sunny said, you dip, we would um, brush it on because I had a hard time getting the glaze to stay attached to the surface because we would put layer so many over glazes, or excuse me, so many under glazes and we would put so much extra um, under glaze color on that it would almost like vitrify the surface of the clay. So when you would dip the glaze and fire, it would just like peel off. Um, and it, it, it took me a long time to figure out what was going on. So we actually have a method where we brush rub and then brush again and there is a free video on the website that you can download if you don't want to wait for the the live or maybe watch it ahead of time and then you can come with questions um but uh that's how we glazed our stuff um so i don't feel like it was too thick when it was on there like it definitely was like if you were to take a, a nail or something and scratch the surface it was there was no thickness you know it wasn't like chunky yeah yeah, that's a good idea to watch the video and then come when you do that live. So you have like a good knowledge base for questions. Okay, so back to overglaze. Um, we had a question about if you can fire gold luster and overglaze in the same firing. So I actually, um, on the website, I just got this um, done up because we've had this question a lot. And so um, the way that it works is, you know, first we have a bisque firing um, and then you have a glaze firing and then it comes out and then you have the choice of like overglaze, um, uh, underglaze, um, wait a minute, back up, bisque firing. First you can do underglaze, mm -hmm. then bisque, or you could do bisque, then underglaze. 
then you put the clear glaze on top and then you have like a finished piece come out of the kiln then you have the option of overglaze or gold or painted on gold luster or also mother of pearl so um you basically want to take it to the highest temperature which is the glaze and then bring it back down so the next step would be um overglaze decals and then mother of pearl and then gold the last so you cannot fire the overglaze decals, the full color ones, in the same firing with the gold because they're going to two different temperatures. Um, so you'll wanna fire this on first, take it out of the kiln. If you wanna put mother of pearl on it, which is that iridescent from Duncan, you can then put that on, put it back in the kiln and then pull it out and you can either paint gold luster on. I think, does Duncan sell that? I think so. Yeah. Or you can buy our overglazes that are 24 karat gold mm -hmm. and put those on. Yep, right there. And then it's a, another firing. So in theory, if you were using every single thing, you would be doing bisque, glaze, overglaze, luster, mother of pearl. That could be five different firings for one piece, which is a lot. That's a lot. But it's you could. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> it <look> pretty magnanimous. <laughs> <laughs> These, I was just showing some of the gold luster decals um, that we have. And then there's another question back to underglaze, and then we can get into the demos. And don't forget, if you are asking some questions, which please we encourage, um, if you could put your name and maybe the place where you're from before it so we can like reference back to you, we're kind of answering questions in batches. Um, and uh, I think Christina already answered this in the chat. Christina is another member of the group. So if you see her answering, you can trust her and believe her. Um, but the question was basically that their black transfers smeared after bisque when they wiped it. Mm -hmm. And the answer that Christina gave was just don't wipe after bisque. After yeah. cone six, you're good to go. Reminds me of that that joke and they're like, I went to the doctor and I said it hurts when I hit my elbow and the doctor's like, well, quit hitting your elbow then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Willow and Moon Studio. That's Christina. And if she's answering questions in the chat, believe her. She she knows what she's talking about. Oh, so that wasn't meant to sound saucy. Just, you know. No, no. Yeah, don't wipe them. Cone no. six is when they're again, I have one that's within a few feet of me, but they're over there. Cone six. Um, that's when it becomes like vitrified food safe good to go um so don't don't wipe them out of the bisque yes that's a good another good point sometimes people are saying well how do i get the dust off of it um well you can use canned air if you want or a lot of times what i would do is if i wasn't going to be glazing them right away as soon as they would come out of the kiln i'd put them on a shelf and just like drape a piece of plastic or fabric over top so that studio dust isn't landing on them um another thing is what we were talking about earlier with that glazing video um, if you're not dipping them and you're doing the brush rub brush technique, even if there's dust on it, it doesn't really matter because you're really kind of like pushing it into the clay. So it, it'll stick. Nice. Yeah, that's smart. Um, before we get started, though, do you want me to give you my new kiln suggestion? Yes, please. Uh, it's actually not even mine. It's Christina's. Um, so she texted me this morning and she said, do you know that there's this thing called a kiln or a microwave kiln? And I was like, there's no way you could do that. Like, how does it get to temperature? But it gets to like a little over 1600 degrees and people are able to fuse glass in their microwave. Um, and so I went on Amazon and I looked it up and they're $39. Uh, so I ordered one and I'm gonna get it in and I'm gonna try it and see if it works. Um, two things though. Uh, so in theory, it should work because uh, if it gets up to that actual temperature. The two things are, it's only about, the inside dimensions only about almost five inches, and then it's only about this tall. So you probably wouldn't be able to do much more than like small jewelry pieces or maybe like a small ring dish. Mm -hmm. um, you couldn't put like a mug in. Yeah, something like that you could do. Um, but it's really fast, uh, so that's kind of exciting. And it also gives people that want to try decals a way to try it ahead of time um, for a low, you know, investment. Um, then, which leads me to my next suggestion, which is, oh, yes. Morning, and great idea. See, I said, this lady, she's full of good stuff. She's so smart. She's so smart. Um, 
so uh oh yes yeah. so the which new genetic idea so you can at least try it um and see if it's something that you like if it works for your work and then you don't have a high investment and then if you do want to invest in something they have kilns that are meant for like jeweler or small ceramic things mm -hmm. test pieces. yeah and they they plug into like your kitchen outlet like the same thing a microwave would plug into um and they're they're not big you know i think it, you could put a mug in it though but that's about okay. <clears throat> that's about it um and they are under a thousand dollars and i know that still seems like oh that's a lot but it's doable compared to a three to five thousand dollar kiln that you need to hire an electrician to put a new breaker in so you know try it with the microwave kiln try it at a community studio see if it works for you um whether or not you make your own pottery or not like i said i'm going to use this target mug today to show you, um, it just gives you another option of being able to uh, fire stuff without having to have a whole situation. I love that. What a good idea. Yeah, I've seen people use the microwave kilns to do um, raku, but I've never seen. I've never. Yeah, it's cool. One of my friends, um, she's been like experimenting with it a little bit. It's really cool. I never would have thought about using it for the decals. And I love that. Right? I know. I'm like, Christina, first of all, she sent it to me this morning and I was like, this is like a scam situation. This is Steph news. <laughs> she was like, no, it's so, it's, it's real. It's legit. Yeah. So, um, any case, um, so I'm going to um, go first, if you don't mind, because I want to a little bit of a demo and then I want to keep going on mine while you're doing yours because I have a ton of hearts and I really want to show everybody the finished product. Love it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, do you want to do FAQ things about yeah. that go wrong? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody keep asking questions in the chat. We're doing overglaze decals today. So give us some overglaze um, decal questions. If you can put your name and maybe your location in front of your question, that'd be great. I am taking notes on questions um, and I'll be able to kind of answer some while Leanne is doing this demo. And if we have time, I'll also have a demo. It's all the same stuff, but you know. <laughs> I've got all my supplies. So I'll I'll talk through some supplies while you get ready. Yeah, yeah was, go ahead. That's the first thing I was going to grab is oh, a you, bottle. While I'm, I'm getting ready. So go ahead. Yes. Okay. So rubbing alcohol is the first thing you're going to want. And you want to clean the surface of your piece because you want to get all the like dust and gross stuff, but also like fingerprints and oils and all of that. Um, this was like 99 cents. And um, are you you're just using like a dishcloth? Yeah, I'm using one that doesn't have a lot of lint on it, though. I have i don't really know what the difference is between a lint-free and a not lint-free. I feel like the lint-free ones don't seem much different, and I haven't had any issues with this. Just don't get, like, a fuzzy bath towel. Yeah, I use old burp cloths um, from when oh. my kids were babies, and they're great. They're super soft and super absorbent and, like, not linty. So lint-free cloth. I have also used paper towels to do this. Yeah. You know, just something that's not going to get stuff all over the surface so first thing you want is a nail last week which wasn't the best plan in the world but it worked <laughs> all right so then you're gonna uh, want... go ahead i was just gonna say i'm doing the whole mug you don't have to do the whole mug but i'm putting decals on the whole mug and then i so i really want to make sure i do the whole thing and then the important thing to do is to not touch it afterwards you know like so i'm going to try to keep my hand inside of it and I'm kind of doing like this and resting it on my knuckle. Yeah, go ahead. Start. Um, so you're going to want a bowl of warm water. And you're obviously going to want your decals. For your decals, you want to cut them close to the edge, kind of as close to the edge as you can get. Um, I have said this a million times, although I guess it's been a while since I've done a demo. I like a tiny little pair of scissors. Uh, this is my regular pair. And these are a lot easier when I'm cutting out things that are like, this size and trying to get in like the corners so you have your is that your warm water it is and you know what i i did because the warm water never stays warm enough longer i actually made my teapot um because when you're putting in a cold bowl so i actually warmed the water in the teapot and then poured it in here and by the time i did all the chatting it's actually like a perfect temperature right I literally poured boiling water into my bowl yeah. because I was like, okay, this is going to cool off. So yeah, you need warm water in a bowl. Um, and then another great thing to have is a right. rubber brayer. Uh, I wanted this, this one off of Amazon and it's me too. terrible. It's not a speedball one. It has all these little black things that are falling off of it. So get a, get a speedball one. 
yeah this is um this is a speedball one and it's i think this is used for like lino cut like block printing so it's like kind of rubbery um it's not like hard plastic uh so i got my warm water um and i'm going to just lay it into the water until it starts to kind of curl and then you can kind of separate it from the backing. You don't wanna leave it in there long enough for it actually to separate, because then what's gonna happen is all of the gooey, slimy glue on the back is gonna um, come off and then it's not gonna uh, be attached as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. I try not to do multiple ones in there at a time because I find that it doesn't um, always work out uh, because it ends up, they, they separate too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like once they separate, you kind of need to put it on. You can't just let it float around in the water. Right. I'm arranging my decals now how I want to see if I need to cut a couple more out. And it goes pretty fast. It yeah. does. See how it's moving. You'll then, know if you have to like push it off, it's not ready. Yeah. And then kind of just like shake off some of that extra water. And if you need a thing to rest this on, um, I'm touching the, the handle because I'm not putting decals there, but you can also rest this on, on your cloth because in theory it's clean. You don't have any oils on there. Mm -hmm. um, but, but for now, I'm going to actually turn this around and I'm going to show you how. So I kind of put this on here and then hold it and then kind of slip this out of the back. Never ever do I want to touch the... Um, underside of it because your fingers will yeah. kind of uh, pull some of the glue off and then you want to kind of get it where you want it and right now what I'm doing is kind of looking at it this way because it's easier to tell if this is centered based on here but it's actually not so I'm going to move it over just a little bit and you can pretty much move it anywhere you like when it's on there you know in the beginning and then once it's on there and it's where you want uh, you can just go ahead at it with the roller, but I pretty much want to get some of that water off first. So I kind of do like a dabbing motion and I hold the decal where it is and then just kind of start in the center and press out. Gently. Yeah, you want to get all that water out, all the moisture out, all the air bubbles out. Because if you don't, then it's going to like burst and leave you with a little pocket. Do you want me to grab one that's messed up to show? Sure. Whoops. Is when you're holding it down, sometimes when you pick it back up, your thumb can kind of like pull the decal back up because for whatever it does. So just when you're taking your thumb off, like I'm right here, I'm holding this and then I'm like when I go to pull this finger up, just go slow. Do you see that right above my finger? There's like a little burst bubble. This is one of the very first ones I ever did. And I didn't get out all of that air or moisture. And so it burst in the kiln. I've got one right here. Yeah. And luckily this was a pretty heavy duty, a lot of colors. So you that, but for the one you did where it's a flat cup, it's easier to see. So I'm just starting to work around and just trying to make sure I work from the inside out. And I really want to get it like attached on there. And then I'm going to take the brayer um, and start in the center. And it's almost like you think you wouldn't even use the brayer. You're like, oh, I don't, all everything's out with the paper towel or whatever. But once you start using this, you'll see. But like, this is for Denise. I'm showing Denise this one. She, they just asked a question. Make sure that if you're going back and forth like this, you don't go off of here and then back on because you'll pick it back up again. Which so I have done. Go back and forth, just stay on it. <laughs> so while you do that, um, someone asked about kind of the age of over glazed decals that they used some and they didn't work. And Christina said maybe the water wasn't hot enough to get the glue active on the older ones. Well, it really depends on when you think it didn't work. Like what, like what about it? Was it, did it, you know, um, you know what I mean? Like I, I would want a little bit more information about what didn't work um, because the overglazed decals don't really have a shelf life. Um, they pretty much stay good forever. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so now what I want to do, I've got that one on there, um, and then I want to put these little red hearts all around this mug. So cute. I love yeah. those hearts. Those are so fun. 
so good. And maybe, maybe one in the bottom. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I didn't get this uh, sticker off the bottom, you know, cause we just bought this this morning, but um, if you get the sticker off the bottom, you could in theory put, you know, a decal over this here. And if it was a solid color, it probably would cover it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let me ask you, did you go to the target on Urbana Pike? <laughs> cause Is I was also, I was there this morning oh, also. <laughs> I didn't go. I was going <laughs> for Christmas. I'm not going to Target. <laughs> he's the he loves going shopping though. He he. When I met him, he was like our first um, Thanksgiving together. He was like, "So what are we doing for Black Friday?" And I was like, "Uh, nothing. What do you mean?" And he was like, "We're not gonna go buy a TV." And I was like, "No." He like loves the shenanigans, and That's I was like, "Hilarious." I don't want anything to do with it. No, same. Yeah. I think it's because he's tall and big and he's a guy. So it's probably like nobody's messing with him to try to get to stuff. I'm like, I'm liable to get like shot or something. I, I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So someone asked if they, if anyone has used a Cricut to cut these decals. Um, I have not used one. I have a silhouette, not a Cricut, um, but that is on my list to do. But I have used, and we've demoed before, using like a shape paper cutter to cut them out, which works mm -hmm. great. Um, hey, so that one. What? I was gonna say show that mug, but you're already on it. Yeah, this is my favorite. I have a couple different shapes. I love the heart and I love the size of this heart. Um, and it would work on kind of any pattern that has like an all around pattern, which I have another one. Again, I just put things like just too far away for me to grab. Um, I think it's like, is it retro flowers or something? I got it in my last batch that I want to try this with. Um, but I do think that you could definitely cut these on a silhouette or a Cricut. The paper itself is not that thick. Um, I think with the Cricut, if you have the app, you can kind of like take a picture of what you're doing and like go around the shape. So possibly someone could experiment with that. Um, I probably would use it more for like this kind of situation. But like, if you want to do like a word or something, I definitely think it's doable. Um, I was going to say is if somebody does want to have it so that you can do a word, we do custom. So I could just print you out like a gradiated color palette page, okay. you know, all color um, or something like that. And then you could kind of cut, you know, whatever you wanted out of it. Um, but wait, I wanted to show you this. Okay, because this is a good example of like what happens when you're holding it and then you're rubbing and I rubbed too much and it broke. So this is definitely gonna happen once or twice. So you can either A, line it back up and try to get it to fit. However, that'll work, but on something that's only one solid color like this, you're gonna really, it's gonna, you'll see a little, almost like a ch -ch 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 in that spot. If it was something like this, where it had a bunch of colors and you lined it up, you probably would never notice. But for this one, because it's a solid color and you'll, you just, you're just going to see it. So I'm going to actually take that off and, um, actually I'm not going to take it off. Yeah. 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 There you go. Maybe we can kind of put it so it kind of goes off the mug or something. Yep. Yeah. I've done that before. I think it was on one of the cheetahs and, um, I don't remember if it was the head or the tail, whatever it was, I pushed it back together. And because it was like multicolor and kind of like watercolory, you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, I think it just depends on the color and the transfer that you have that you can. The only thing is like, yeah, something like that would be good. I was going to say, the only thing is like, I don't know if I want to do that. I'm taking that off for now. Yeah. But and actually, if, you, if that happened, you could. You could do that. And I like yeah. it, but I have to do that all the way around the mug. And then it's a whole pain in the butt and I don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is stick it back on top of here, which is the gluey part from before. And I can't promise it's gonna stick again, but if it's gonna, that's gonna give it, it the best chance. Yeah. All right, so Katie from Mass, Massachusetts asked if you can layer over glazed decals on each other. Um, I have never tried it, but I've seen people do it, but they have to fire them in between. Um, what's her name? The woman, uh, Mar Martika or Christina, you'll know she, she, uh, I have a mug from her. She had this, it was like a lady of Guadalupe and it had like completely covered Mar Maurice, Marisa. She's in Canada. She's kind of wild. Her Instagram feed 
it's, it's kind of wild. Um, but anyway, if, if we figure it out, we'll add it in the comments of this when we repost it on the on the page. Um, but she would layer overglazed decals on top of each other, but I'm pretty sure she fired them in between, you know, so that way uh, they didn't kind of like bubble. Nice. Jessica Putnam does multiple firings and layers them. I haven't, I mean, I know who she is, I haven't seen any of her yeah. stuff with them on there. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm just going to keep going while you're doing your demo, but I want to just put these all around this mug. Right. Yeah, my water is cold. Uh. Um, <laughs> of course, <laughs> I've been like feeling the bowl as it slowly <laughs> cools off. Um, but yeah, I can I can go ahead and do one. Do you want to um, <clears throat> show grab hot water? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I can show the gold. Do you want me to do a demo of the gold? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. I have to cut, which is oh. fine. That's okay. Let's see. Probably gonna do the star questions. Um, someone asked what temperature to fire the overglaze decals. Um, I don't know off the top of my head because I don't have it. Is it sixteen sixteen? Wanted to say sixteen. Yeah. On um. Uh oh twelve. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 12. But if you don't have that program, you want to uh, just fire to, to, to O12 on like a slow setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a video about this. I mean, probably this was probably back in like, I don't know, maybe June. Um, and all of these instructions are on the website, elantransfers.com. But um, I did do a video where I programmed my kiln with the step by step um, temperatures. You'd have to scroll back, but it's on there and you can find all the instructions on the website. Also, for at least for the gold um, decals, you send the info for the gold gold decals about um, the firing temperatures. And the overglaze decals, they come with a little sheet in the pack and it okay. has a, like a QR thing or something that you can just go right to the instructions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little bit. Okay, let's see. Have you tried a war a cup warming, a warming cup for water? That's a great idea. Well, like usually when I'm doing this, I get my warm water, I come and sit down and I do it. I filled this up 40 minutes ago with, <laughs> with like boiling water and now it's cold. <laughs> uh, so this is a, I know that we talked about this last week, but just as a reference or re refresh, I bought this mug at Target, um, and as long as it is a, a dishwasher, microwave, food safe mug, um, you should be able to use it for this project because typically those are uh, stoneware. So make sure it's somewhere that's like stoneware or porcelain, high fire glaze, not like a low fire glaze at like Michael's or a craft store to buy it that's meant for food. And um, so at Target, Walmart, any of those big box stores, um, you can use this. I mean, not that I would say you would want to use your like Lennox China or something, but in theory, you could use that too because it's porcelain. If you found some really pretty antique plates um, that you wanted to customize, you could do that. Um, the only thing I would suggest is if they have gold on them, like a lot of Lennox has gold on the edge, um, that might burn off when you fire these because as we talked about, that goes on after. So just find something that is like a plain white plate or even if it has like some flower um, transfers on it because that is actually a really um, old process, that'll, that'll be fine. But just nothing that has um, gold on it. Okay, I just cut out a little gold. Cute little one and then I just have these little well I have some earrings that I want to put those on that's too big for that but I am gonna put them on like the bottoms of these little earrings but I think I'm just gonna do I just have these little dishes and I'm just gonna make sure that that fits yeah okay I'm gonna flip my camera around so you can um, see my hands so let me just <clears throat> yeah and I see how you're getting these little tiny ones on because I don't have as trouble with the bigger ones but these little tiny ones I have a hard time getting them on and stuck without breaking them. Yeah, it's pain. <laughs> Let me see if I can flip this real quick. Okay. You can tell I've been cutting up decals. All right, so my water is cold, so I will 
preface with that, but there's my water and um, I did not clean my, you know what? I'll probably end up taking it off because this is not, okay. So I, I clean this with rubbing alcohol. I let it dry. Here's my little tiny decal. I'm going to put it in the water and let it float. While you're doing that, um, somebody asked if um, we can demonstrate the bike decals, the overglaze, but I don't have any of those. I, I don't either. Them. Yeah. Not do that. Um, but they work um, the same as any of the other decals. Mm -hmm. So normally when the water is warm, this is a little quicker and this decal would kind of fold up a little bit. It will like roll up and tell you that it's done. So I'm going to see. Okay. And you can kind of see, I'm just pushing yep. it a little bit with my hand, uh, my finger, and it's coming off. I'm like, I'm like not really trying. And then I'm going to slide it and just like kind of place it on there. I never touch the back. Are you guys seeing that? Okay. Yeah. It's hard because the glaze is dark, but we can. Uh, I'll do another one after this. And then I, because this is small and in like a concave dish, I am just, I can't use my roller or anything. So I'm just going to use this soft, uh, it's an old burp cloth and I'm going to, um, just press it on there and I'm not going to try and move it around or anything. I'm just going to kind of, kind of go ahead on a flat surface. So um, flat surface with a small one, would you do the same thing or are you going to use a, a brayer? That's a great question. I probably would roll it. I don't know. Maybe not. With these small ones, you can press it so well and cover the whole thing. Um, I don't know that I would roll it. But then again, here, let me show you what I'm going to work on for overglaze later. I'm going to kind of do this whole tray. Oh, and so pretty. Those are the holiday cookies. I'm so excited about these. They're so cute. And I'm going to do, I'm going to cut some more of these little ones and put them out like around. So chances are I am going to roll it a little bit. But I probably wouldn't roll it until after I have like pushed and pushed and pushed this on here to make sure that it's stuck. Let me do another one. I have to cut it. You can watch me cut, which is so exciting. <laughs> um, I just, when you held that up, I did yeah. a little maneuver where I also held my mug up. So later when we're trying to find what we're going to use. Good for idea. So that can be the spot. <laughs> okay, love it. This is the, the behind the scenes battle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna cut out one or two of these. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but my eyes get fatigued when I cut out this kind of stuff. I usually like to put like an orange bat or something behind it so that it like contrasts a little bit. You know what I mean? That's a good idea, yeah. Kind of helps me see a little better. So I'm going to now cut this closer to the actual design. Uh, you know, let me show you and see if you can see like this. I cut very, very close to this. So in person, I can see a tiny little line. I can feel it right here. But if you're cutting kind of willy nilly around it, you're going to see that line. Like, let's see this one. I use the cutter and it's, there's no line right here. So that's, that's, that's I like my favorite thing about the cutter using the cutter is that fact that it doesn't um you know show yeah. and it's easy you don't have to cut it out you just punch them out it's so nice and i did it with the underglaze um transfers too and i just put it between two pieces of paper and it cut them out really nice so for folks wanting to to do what you did with that cutter um yeah. is uh, that she just showed is the floral uh, one. Um, and that's one of the only ones that I have that's a full sheet. Um, but if you, again, we do customizing and we can customize any of the decals that we already have. So if it's a situation where you want to um, have any of the designs, but you want it to be a full sheet or uh, you want something smaller, you can email us and we can always adjust things or we can do a custom one for you. Um, speaking of custom, while I'm at it, I made this for um, Stephen's mom for Christmas. It says Glenn on it. Aww. Um, so if you guys, I don't, um, I mean, I could try to get it to you, depending on what your time frame is for firing, uh, so that you could um, be able to use them for Christmas. Um, but if you want to 
have any custom work done. So I did this one, it says 2023, and then this is one of our staff decals on the website, and you could just put it in the middle. Um, yeah, so I love that. And um, put, that, put that in there. Just say, hey, can you make me a page of this name or something like that? Yeah. Makes it nice when you can use just like a, a mug, you know, that you may have had already sitting around that maybe you yeah. didn't <clears throat> use for a show or whatever. And then you can be like, oh, I'll just make a little last minute Christmas present <laughs> or whatever present. Yeah. All right. So I'm doing another one. Someone real quick asked what this clay is. It's standard 112. All right. So I put, I put it in. Again, my water is cold. This should be warm. These are cleaned with rubbing alcohol and dried. And I'm just kind of waiting for this. In warm water, it'll kind of like curl up so you know that it's ready. I'm doing it on a lighter one this time. Yeah, cold water, it does work. It just doesn't work as fast. Um, also, yeah. working with cold water. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. In the time. <laughs> warm water would be much nicer. Can you see I'm sliding it off? Yep. I'm going to kind of just find my spot and stick it on and now i'm not going to move it those little dishes um because i've seen you do those a, a few times for just like a curious design wise yeah do you, um just put one of those gold decals on there um i will probably do oops do a couple like three like one two three kind of oh. like off on the side mm -hmm. um this one was a test to see if it would work on this glaze so it has one on it it looks good though yeah, so I'll probably do a couple little ones. I also really like on this sheet, like these ones. Yeah, those are the retro stars. Yeah, so if I do one of the bigger ones, I'll just do one. And so I'm just going to use my clean cloth and just kind of like press it out. I can't use a roller or anything on this because it's convex. Yeah, concave. Because it's rounded. Yeah. It, I'm finding that I prefer the using a towel on my finger as well yeah uh, i mean you do run the risk of not having it on enough you know uh because it pushing it you know so maybe kind of go back at the end and really push it in there but i think it's it's working a little bit better it makes me feel safer because i'm not flinging it off the side you know yeah. if it's flat it's easier yeah yeah, like doing these trays, which are um, throw going back to the um, giveaway. These are GR Pottery Forms trays. And don't oh. forget, we're doing a giveaway right now. Um, the details are on the Instagram page. So you can get $50 to GR Pottery Forms and $50 to Elan Transfers. Are you entering the giveaway or are you disqualified because you were? I feel like I shouldn't and it would be a little unfair. However, um, I just got a package from JR Pottery Farms like two days ago with more wear boards. So like, <laughs> so like maybe enter, but maybe we won't let you in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'll be like, uh, people will be like, excuse me, it seems strange that one of the employees won. Yeah. The <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. <laughs> All right, coming along. This is a slow process, but um, mostly it's slow because I'm trying to keep it up on my camera. I think that if I was just holding it tight to my body and yeah. able to move, it wouldn't take quite so long. Yeah. But just in case anybody was wondering if buying a pre-made mug and then applying decals was going to make your life easier. <laughs> I So Handmade by Rue said they just bought their first year of form. They're excited to try transfers with it. Yes, this slide will be posted on the Instagram page. Um, someone asked. I was thinking that we should, while the giveaway is happening, do Ooh. a demo with GR Pottery Forms and transfers because, like, we're we're giving them away, so it might be a good idea. Maybe um, we could try. Uh, I don't know who's our live next week, but maybe what we can try to do because I don't know if we actually have somebody set yet um, to do that. Um, I've done a couple lives with him before, um, but. Um, not anything recently so this is this is an example of what not to do so i'm pressing it down but it came off on my finger yeah i don't like to press it like with my finger because i'm I, it's gonna stick on me yep <laughs> why were we using a cloth later. yeah 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 around wally cute yeah i've got a couple of 
Actually, I think I got all the Wallys when they first came out. I think they're the, really fun. The I Wally forms. I don't understand those. I don't know what they do. They're, they're, it's like a straight side form. I'm trying to see if I have a finished piece near me. So it makes like a mug? No, they're, um, it's like a little dish. I don't have one by me to show you. It's like a, just, you know, little different size dishes, but it's a straight side. Their regular forms have like a 45 degree angle on it. Yeah. Like that. So they come out, you know, with a little angle. These ones are straight. Like it would be like that. Is and that so, attached to the wheel though? They have um, different ones. I don't think the Wally's attached to the wheel. I think the ones that attach to the wheel are like plate, plate ones like that. And they have the hole in them. So what one would you want to demo next week then? That's a great question. I mean, um, this seems current. Uh, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> which I have a couple finished ones next to me. I love the Christmas trees. I think they're uh, so cute. Fun. Does oh. this count as my entry into the contest? <laughs> Those, yeah. So, um, so basically, what we're saying is Sunny's trying to take over the contest. <laughs> Yeah, something something seasonal would be fun to demo, but anything. I make a lot of the little cutie size for little trinket dishes. Those um, are the ones I was making when I was doing them because, yeah, they work nice. Another thing that um, he was saying was um, that they were working on one that was going to kind of be like an egg tray so that um, you could make an, you know, press an egg tray out. Love that. Um, but I think he ended up saying that they have one that has holes or something. And then you kind of just like take your sponge and do this in it and it wobbles those out. Um, and then we were talking about maybe having our chickens and then putting like a chicken transfer in the little eggs, um, egg holders. I thought that would be fun too. That's so, super cute. Uh, demo spring. In case anybody was wondering, there are also um, chicken gold decals if those you want them. <laughs> cute all right so i don't know if i'll get this mug done in this live but you guys can see what's happening he's got got the two little kissy girls and hearts that are going to go all the way around i'm almost oh. fill in like here and then maybe put one in the bottom do you want to do the one in the bottom real quick and show how okay. you kind of get in there so i think what i'm going to do is this um big one in the bottom just because size wise i think it'll work um and so really what I would like to have is like this, yeah, this. So something that's rounded. Um, and then what I would do is get a dry sponge and put it on there and um, uh, rubber band it. But what I'm going to do is just use my towel. Yeah. And rubber band. Actually, give me one second. I'm going to grab a rubber band so it doesn't fall off on there. Um, Golden Ginkgo Studio, yeah, you fire to 012012. And um, there, you can either just like program your kiln to like a slow 012, um, or there are like temperature instructions on the website if you wanted to fire. I don't remember off the top of my head. We have a video about it if you want to scroll back in the feed um, about the temperatures that you can program your kiln to, um, but it is 012. And Lester is 019. Yeah, 019, 012, and uh, the mother of pearl is 020. Mm -hmm. And the um, underglaze transfers, if you want to leave them raw with no glaze, need to be fired to cone six to be food safe. So I've wrapped that towel on there a few times just so it's really absorbent and soft. Um, you can use um, like the end of a paint, basically end of anything, just so that you can kind of get down in there. This mug is short, so I shouldn't have too much trouble. And I'm really gonna dab this off because I don't want it to um, have too much water down there. Um, another thing is if you're having trouble getting them to stick, which if you follow the directions and you use warm water, you shouldn't have any issue. But just in case, this um, is an extra thing. This part right here is the glue is on there. So sometimes if I've moved it around too much or whatever, um, you can take 
the inside from another one and kind of like rub it on it before you put this one on and you get like a little bit of extra glue from the other one. Um, I don't know if I'm overcomplicating it by saying that, but um, it's an idea if you're having trouble. All right, so I'm gonna take this. Um, and you can see how it's like in there, but and the little edge is around it. And in order to get this off, I'm gonna stick my scissors in there and kind of use it like a tweezers. Mm -hmm. and pull it out and I'm kind of holding it down with my other hand. And then I'm gonna position it where I want, which is in theory, if the person is drinking, you'd want it to be facing them. So that's in there like that. And then I'm just going to kind of press and hold. Someone said they've been having issues with overglaze transfers curling half off while they're in the kiln. Hmm. Uh, that probably means they weren't stuck all the way, but it's weird because if you're firing to the temperature in theory, if it's lifted up like that, that would just burn off. Yeah. So that seems strange. Maybe you put them on upside down. Yeah. Um, like with pottery, you know, nothing's easy. No. So, um, you know, trial and yeah, Lots trial and error. I, that's I feel like I say that all the time, but like test it, try it again. Uh, that's why one of those little kilns that you're talking about for this kind of thing is nice because I haven't fired an overglaze kiln in probably six months because I just can't fill a kiln to do it. And I feel bad running a basically empty kiln. Um, but I've been having to do it lately because of the holidays and stuff. So I'm like, okay, let's just do this. No, and I fired the big kiln the other day with just these two pieces in it because I had that demo and I wanted them to be finished. And I was like, this is crazy. So my mom actually has a, a little kiln. And so I've been trying to convince her that she should let me either have it or use it nice yeah definitely what do you have any updates on the store oh my gosh it is so beautiful I'm really really excited about it um it's coming along I talked to the contractor this morning he said hopefully by the end of January they'll be done and out so that we can get in there and start putting product in and staging it and our goal is March 1st to be open because um, the restaurant next door is an Irish pub and we thought that that would be really fun to be uh, open for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and then also we'll be at Inseca this year, as you know. <laughs> and I'm was, excited. Um, you know, talk about that and get people to come out and say hi for Inseca and then also at the store. Yeah, that's going to be really fun. I'm, I'm I drove by the store maybe two weeks ago. Um, and I'll probably drive by it again in a couple of days because I've got a market on Market Street on Friday and I've got to go up there um, this week to drop something off. So I've been peeking. Peeking, yeah. It's coming along really fast now because they've actually started on the front before they were just doing inside work. So it was hard to see. Um, and Stephen's been down there painting for, I don't know, the past week and a half. He's been doing painting and um Actually, one of the ladies that works for us, Jackie, she's our, our like our farm manager lady. And she, I said, I know it's winter time, but like, how do you do with painting? She's like, I've never painted in my life. And I was like, well, it's kind of like leading. It's just, you know, slow and methodical. So she's been down there painting. And um, so now she told Stephen that she's been having fun and learning so much on how to paint that she might end up painting her own house. And I was like, oh, there you go. <laughs> love it. I love that. I love painting walls. So I, I get it. Oh yeah. Well, feel free if you want to come and help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sloppiest. I'm like painting and Steven's over there, like cutting in like a, like, like, like psh, psh, with no tape. I'm like, paint <laughs> fire. it's terrible. It's funny. But, um, do you want to just like, for anyone who doesn't know, it's called perennial and it's in downtown Frederick and it's going to be garden and clay. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, um, outdoor gardening supplies in, um, plants, uh, fresh flowers. We'll have our fl uh, flowers from our um, flower farm there, the gardening accessories. And then also we'll have a studio space, which will sell all the different ceramic supplies, um, wheels, kilns, uh, glaze, our transfers, pottery tools. Um, and then there's also an outdoor courtyard, which will have um, plants and statuary and stuff. And then there's um, a bed and breakfast upstairs. So our master plan is to be able to invite people for like workshops for the weekend and have 
guest artists come and then you know we can accommodate four or five um, guests in the, the bed and breakfast upstairs and then they can take class and then also walk around historic Frederick and if you've never been here it's an adorable town in, really in Maryland in Maryland yeah um, and in fact I uh, a couple of years ago had reached out to uh, Renee Lopresti she's one of my favorite um, potters and asked if she would do a workshop with us when we got our studio open and she said oh yes so I um, uh, reached out the other day and she's moving at the moment so she said as soon as she's moved and settled we can reconnect and she's going to come and do a, uh, a workshop there which I am like so excited about I can't I might have to get back into working with Clay just to make some mugs similar to hers because yeah. she has great, great stuff so I love it I'm excited for for the shop to open me too also it, especially for Clay and ceramic supplies I'm driving to Alexandria right now which is great but like It'd be yeah. nice to drive 20 minutes instead of an hour. Yeah, yeah. And we'll stock like um, boxes of clay in the store so you can come and just buy a box. But um, Stephen uh, is going to be our delivery boy. <laughs> so delivering flowers to customers. And he's also going to be delivering clay and supplies. So if you want, you know, a larger amount of clay, you won't have to um, come to the store and pick it up. You can just have him um, bring it to you. So I love it. I love it. Yeah, I've been loading like 500 pounds of clay into my trunk every couple months. So that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I said, he said, do I get tips? And I was like, do you want money tips? And he was like, what about, could I ask for food tips? He's like, so like, I get like a sandwich when I drop off. I would be happy to give him a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. well, like, like, like a sandwich and a Coke. I was like, all right, I'll tell yeah. you. Yeah, I'll, I'll bake some cookies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if you want to see Steven order clay or flowers and he'll come. I told him, I said, if you, if you do deliveries, you got to do it in the antique truck so that it's like real fancy and people can like, <laughs> like oh you're delivering clay in the in the old truck and making him a sandwich like the old days <laughs> yeah <laughs> funny so well thanks for coming and um helping with the demo today it was much more exciting and fun with you here and not just me doing it by myself i know it's been a while since we chatted i'm glad we did yeah it was good and um, i'm gonna fire this mug i'm not gonna tell anyone who it's for but i'm gonna fire this mug and then um, hopefully we can post a picture of it when it's done in use. <laughs> Love it. And do you have a promo code? Oh, I do. It is Elon Holiday. E L A M H O L I D A Y. All one word. Um, it's not cap sensitive, so you can just um, put it all in. Oh, and our company party is Saturday. Oh, that's yeah. right. I know. I have a market. <laughs> uh, Oh, I'm so sad you're not going to make it. We're going to Fratelli's for, for dinner or for lunch. It's at 1.30. So if you can make it, surprise us and let me know. That'd be fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't, but I would love that. Well, I mean, can't somebody else run the market for you? No, it's, this is a one woman operation over here. <laughs> That's okay. Well, it's at 1.30, Christina. Well, we will save you some breadsticks. I love breadsticks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us via email. Um, it's Alon Transfer, no, info at alontransfers.com. You can also uh, message us on the website or on Instagram, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And thank you so much. And the coupon code is for 10% off site wide through tonight. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Leanne. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, everybody.